Many people want to create an effect by deforming an object, but often it's too difficult, especially for beginners, to do that solely in geometry nodes. But you know a bit of modeling. So now we will take a look on a very easy approach where you can just model your desired effect and then control the strength of it. At first copy your object and place it somewhere. This copy will be used as an alternative geometry similar to a shape key. Then just deform it and model it however you want it to look. Everything you do in the edit mode will be saved as the alternative geometry, keep that in mind. But you are not allowed to add or remove points, since this requires both to have the same points, only move them around, just like shape keys. After the deformation, select your original object and open a new window which you set to the geometry nodes editor and create a new modifier at the top. At first we add a capture attribute node in between and connect an index node to it. This will read the indices of the original object which is basically what number this vertex is. Okay, after that we just add a set position node at the very end of the geometry line. With this node we will override the position data later. Now you just drag and drop the alternative version into the modifier from the object list. It's important to keep this button on original on the object info node. Connect that to a sample index node and set it to vector. Then connect the dark green index from the capture output to the sample index node. And a position node to the value plug. This sample index node now outputs the new modified positions. Now we only need to add a mix node set to vector to mix these position vectors with the original vectors, which is just a position node. Mixing here is basically just a percentage slider, how the original mesh should mix with the new mesh. Zero means original and one means alternative. At last, connect that result to the position plug of the set material node. And now you can just slide with the factor of the mix node to decide how strong you want to have this deformation or just keyframe the slider to animate it. And of course, since everything is live here, you can at any point just change the alternative version and continue to deform it. They are now linked and the original will deform accordingly. If this is enough for you, you're already finished at this point. But since we are in the geometry nodes editor, we can now do a lot to the slider here to improve the effect. For example, a proximity controller, which defines where this effect should be weak or strong. For this, you can just add any object, which will act as a controller, an empty, for example. Drag and drop it into the geometry nodes editor. Then connect this and a position node to a vector math distance node. After that, just add a map range node to define how we want to map the distance calculation. The from max plug defines the radius of the effect. And also just swap the two min and two max values, so that the effect is stronger if the controller is nearby. This is optional depending on the effect. Sometimes you want to have the effect strong when the controller is far away. Then just plug the result into the factor of the mix node. Now you can move the controller to see how it currently looks. You have to adjust the from max value a couple times until you find the perfect radius of the effect. Optionally, you could also slide a color ramp in between to change the radius influence a little so that it reaches its maximum effect sooner, for example, if you move the black and white marker closer together. And now we're finished. You can now deform the alternative object so that it shows the maximum deformation effect you want to have and control it with the proximity controller or just the slider. Thanks for watching and if you have learned something, feel free to subscribe to my channel to never miss a lesson. Have fun deforming the mesh and yourself during Christmas and see you soon.